Dusk Gollum is back. He actually goes by Aesthetic Gamer now on Twitter. Uh, but he is a leaker who is known for leaking Capcom things. He supposedly retired from doing so, but, I mean, anyone who has access to information tends to not be able to resist putting it out there, especially when they have a following that's constantly asking them for information, uh, which is what happens with Aesthetic Gamer, a.k.a. Dusk Gollum. And he's been right on a lot of stuff. He's leaked a lot of Monster Hunter stuff. He leaked a ton about Monster Hunter Rise before that was announced for Switch. So he tends to know his stuff, and he is one of the few leakers out there that I don't really tell you that you need to have a grain of salt when you hear what he has to say. Uh, and he has basically confirmed that a new Resident Evil is coming uh, for all platforms. So we're talking PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X slash S, and Nintendo Switch, probably even PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, although those aren't specifically talked about. Uh, but it looks like we're getting a new Resident Evil game. Now, this isn't a surprise. We know about the Resident Evil, you know, more remakes coming and stuff like that. Obviously, Resident Evil 7 wasn't going to be the last Resident Evil game. But this is actually what looks to be a follow-up to Resident Evil Revelations 2, now, they might not call it Revelations 3, but apparently that's what it's going to be. Here's his exact words, and you guys will talk about it here in a moment. He says, I sort of weigh the options, and I think long-term, people believing that there's a Resident Evil Outbreak 3 and it not existing may hurt more than help. But I also got 100% confirmation that the Resident Evil Outrage rumors out there is actually Resident Evil Switch. It may not be called Revelations 3 when it releases, but it is for all intents and purposes, and it's the Switch-focused Resident Evil game. But it's not Switch exclusive. It's coming to everything. Switch was the lead platform. I know you know this. I just decided, and I think it's coming out to the public anyways. And he goes on in other tweets to mention that it's going to be uh, announced and releasing sooner rather than later. So this could be like an early 2021 title, a spring 2021 title. Again, it's coming to everything, but Switch is going to be the lead platform that it was designed for. So it's actually going to look really, really good on Switch. For those who don't know when games are made, there's a lead platform games are made for. And then you go from there. This time around, Nintendo Switch is that lead platform. So what does this mean? This means that one, Nintendo Switch is getting a Resident Evil game. Yay! Woo! Uh, it's getting a Resident Evil game that's not streamed. Yay! Woo! Uh, but it's also getting a game that I guess kind of started on Switch. The Revelation series started not necessarily on Switch, but on Nintendo platforms, 3DS, all that jazz. So it's good to see that there's going to be a, fo a focused one for Switch that's also coming to other platforms. Um, I'm really excited about this. I hope you're excited about it as well. A nice, short, and sweet video for you guys. I have other videos I want to get out today, but uh, this is just going to be a quick one to toss out there because, hey, Resident Evil Revelations is kind of a big deal to me. Uh, so hopefully we see this announced early in 2021. Probably in a Nintendo Direct or Partner Showcase or something. All right, folks. I'm Nintendo Robojets from Nintendo Prime. If you are excited for this game, let me know down in the comments below. Catch you guys later.